We're two hitchhikers. We met while hiking Mount Baldy with mutual friends, wasted no time, got engaged on a frozen alpine lake, got hitched, and have been adventuring together since. We're embarking on a new adventure of living big in a tiny home. Let's see how this goes. Adventure awaits. <laughs> The backhoe had to be returned, so to begin the next project, we needed to bring in another earth mover to help us dig the next trench. But before we get going on digging this trench, we are actually going to prep ourselves because tomorrow we're going to meet some friends up in Oregon. They're visiting Oregon and last minute change of plans, they decided they're going to go to Crater Lake, so we are going to meet them there. Now, fun fact, we're meeting Tom and Vince. Now, I had met Tom and Vince on a hiking adventure prior to me actually meeting Ruben. And Ruben actually knows Tom and Vince from other hikes and trails prior to meeting me. So it's just kind of funny how, yeah, we're just one big group of friends and we adventure together and they're heading up to Oregon. Long story short, we're looking forward to it because it's been a while. So anyhow, hit pause and we'll regroup the day after tomorrow. Today is an exciting day because our friends are in Oregon and they are going to be in Crater Lake area, which is about two hours north of us. So we are driving up to meet them. So it's been a while. It so has been a while. We we're, we're excited. making the effort to go see them. Hint, hint. National Park. Ta da! Taking <laughs> obligatory photos. Crater Lake, with its incredible blue water, was formed after the collapse of an ancient volcano, Mount Mazama. This volcano violently erupted approximately 7,700 years ago. The caldera was formed after the top 5,000 feet of the volcano collapsed and subsequent lava flows sealed the bottom, allowing the caldera to fill with approximately 4.6 trillion gallons of water from rainfall and snowmelt. This created the ninth deepest lake in the world at 1,943 feet. It is the deepest lake in the United States. The cinder cone in the lake, known as Wizard Island, rises 763 feet above the water. Let's go get wet. Yeah. We drove the northwest side of the rim to the trailhead of the mile hike down to jump in the water. Like two degrees colder out here than over there. <laughs> <laughs> Only two? Only two. Two Celsius. <laughs> yeah. We had a lot of fun hanging out here, but it's time to head back up to the rim of the lake and we're gonna go to the visitor center. Happy days, everybody! Happy days! Happy days. Happy days. All the neighbors, cats and dogs will never more be seen. Evolving Grandpa sausages and giant Trebex machine. Ta da! <laughs> Ruby's turn! Next stop, Tokati Falls. 
The North Umpqua River flows over a 40-foot fall and then an 80-foot fall to the pool you see below. It is framed by basaltic lava. Well, we decided to make our way down to the pool at the bottom of the waterfall. This is the way down. So we made it to the bottom of the falls. It was pretty steep. And I am not gonna get in the water, but Ruben is gonna dive in, and I think Vince might too. So um, I'm moving over here to this little corner to see if I can get a better shot of him. How did that feel? It felt amazing. Was Cold this river. colder than Crater Lake? Oh yeah. And Celsius colder. <laughs> but what goes down must go back up. burgers and I should have taken a video before we ate but we were so hungry but these burgers were amazing if anybody is ever driving on highway 97 near crater lake either mm -hmm. north or south stop in Chilonquin and come to TP burgers the best seriously so good And just like that, our day of adventuring had come to a close. We had projects waiting for us back at home. As you probably recall that fun episode of Ruben moving this gas tank in, it is finally the day for him to start hooking up the gas line to the house. All right, the tank is over there and he's going to run it, sounds like at a 90 degree angle in front of me, and come back and hook it up right to here. So that right there is the gas line. And he's gonna dig the trench today and uh, we'll just, we'll see how far he gets with this whole project. Everything was going well until it didn't. We got a little too close to the conduit running the electrical. It wasn't punctured or cracked, however, it's not worth the risk of a potential pinch posing a potential fire hazard, so Ruben had to rerun the line. Fortunately, we did have extra conduit on hand just for this. Hey, there you go. So the string is getting sucked in through the conduit and it's giving me something to where I can tie the electric wire and pull it through. Thanks, Art. Thank you. 
Now it's back to running the gas line. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting MPT fitting. There we go. Right, to the first stage regulator. And then it's gonna have a 3 8 line going to underground line. And here we go. We're looking for bubbles. No bubbles, no leakies. Cool. No leaks. From this standpoint, now I get to cut this, run it into this part right here, and then go to the inside, get that terminated when it comes to the stove, and we're good. We got a leak. So, I forgot to put the second reducer in. That's why we were having a leak. We had 15 PSI coming through these lines right here and they're only rated up to six PSI. So that's why it was leaking. So I put the second stage and it drops it down to two PSI with 11 inch water column flow. And now it's not leaking. So that's why that gauge was going down. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Cool. So question, eh. why does it stink like the men's cologne department at a department store right now? Does it have to do with the gas? Oh, no, it's the stupid water that I'm spraying. It has all that stuff oh, in it. Oh, okay. It's all the it has soap laundry, to set it up. Okay, it has all that stuff. It up. Okay, I'm like, it stinks <laughs> like men's cologne. Sacre chéris, les pio! Now that the gas line has been run and tested multiple times, it's time to fill in the trench. First up is sand because it provides a safety zone before we backfill it with our rocky dirt. really tight or just keep it even? Just, yeah, walk on it, do it like that, perfect. It's like pot of beret, pot of beret, pot of beret. <laughs> and fan, and fan, <laughs> and fan. <laughs> Madonna, Madonna. We started the backfilling of the rocky dirt manually, but our neighbors let us borrow the tractor once again to do the heavy lifting. This definitely saved us a couple days worth of shoveling. Now all that is left is to even out the ground with some good old fashioned shoveling, but I'll tackle that this week when Ruben is at work. Right now, we want to test the stove. Can we see the stone? Wow. I kept the plastic on this whole time. I'm like, I don't want to ruin it. 
Okay, Zhang. This is seriously such a big deal. <laughs> and what's super cool <coughs> is that we have used a lot of herbs from our garden. Oh, yeah? Gonna sit outside or in here? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.